back to the channel guys, my name's Andy R and this is The Brotherhood of Men. A channel solely dedicated at getting you guys a better outcome in whatever it is that you do. Now, all I do is tell you stories, give you information and my view on things that are happening in the world. But I do it so that you can get an insight and you can have more information when you come to making decisions for what's best for you. But only you can make the decisions of what's best for you. So anyway, what's today's subject? Well, today's subject is listening like a man. That's right, I'll say it again. Today's subject is listening like a man. Because so many men do not listen like men. We are very logical beings. Not to say that women don't have a certain amount of logic, but we do operate differently. Women operate more emotionally than men do. How many times do you hear a conversation from a woman and instead of saying, I think, I think, it's like, I think that so and so, or I think this and that, or I think, which is what a man tends to do, women say, I feel that so and so, I feel this and that, I feel, I feel. They're telling you literally how they're making decisions through my feelings not logically through my mind. I've not took all the pros and cons and weighed up and made the best decision for me. And men tend to operate like that. That's why men tend to go into more careers like engineers, etc. Um, anyway, I digress a little bit. What I'm trying to say is that men really need to learn how to listen like a man. I'm going to give you some examples here. Now, now these examples You'll have heard a thousand times, but you probably haven't taken on board what it means. How many times has somebody said to you, Andy, well, obviously they don't say Andy to you because your name's probably not Andy, but I'm using myself as an example. But say, Andy, I don't mean to be insulting, but now straight away, you know the next thing that's coming out of their mouth is going to be insulting. Or you've heard this, I'm not a racist, but... Now, you know, the next thing that comes out of their mouth is definitely going to sound racist. Or they say, look, I don't hate women, but you know, the next thing that comes, you see where this is going. The next thing that comes out of their mouth is going to sound like they hate women. It, it doesn't matter what it is. So the, what I'm trying to say to you is everything up to but is rubbish. It's throw it away. It's not worth listening to. Everything after but needs your attention. That's listening like a man. Knowing what's coming before but is rubbish and it doesn't make any sense or it, it, it's, um, it has no bearing on what they truly want to say to you. I'll give you a second example. Have you ever heard this from a woman, guys? Oh, I think you're a great guy. I really think you, you're fantastic. You're one of my best friends. I really appreciate your support and everything. But I don't want to date you. It would ruin the relationship we have as friends. I don't want to, whatever that comes after. All of that premiable was to work you up, make you feel great. And once you got to but... Afterwards is what she's really wanting to say to you. And that's how you end up in the friend zone. Never end up in the friend zone. Friends don't end up in bed. And let's be honest, most of these women you have in your life because you want to sleep with them. And when I say sleep with them, I actually mean you don't want to do any sleeping. But you do want to take them to bed. So, everything up to but is rubbish, is nonsense. That's listening like a man. Everything after but, listen carefully, pay attention to. So all of that about you're a great guy and I think you're a brilliant friend and I love your support and all that lot is really a woman using her emotions thinking how would I want news like this broken to me to sound? Because all of that sounds great. That builds you up. You think, yeah, great, you know, that's what I want. On that, we can build this relationship. And are you going to let me take you to bed? <laughs> this is what a guy is thinking, not feeling, thinking. But then the woman says, after the but. So if you think like a man, you're waiting for the but. Because you now know that that's the true message that you need to hear. And that's 
hearing like a man. So that's today's subject, hearing like a man. You also need to speak like a man. <laughs> that's probably a subject for another day because I've gone on long enough about this. But yeah, next time you're in a conversation with a woman that you want to have a sexual relationship with, that you actually want to go... Because you should never really have a woman who's a friend unless she's... <sighs> I don't know, a relative. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't want to be going to bed with your cousin. You can have those as friends. Or a work colleague, somebody that, you know, it would detriment your working life if that you ended up taking those. Okay, they can be friends, but that doesn't still stop you lusting after them, does it? It just means that there are other barriers other than them putting you in the friend zone. If you have put in the friend zone, walk away, get out of there. Don't be there when the call happens. Don't be there when uh, she needs something, it needs a shoulder to cry on, to talk about the last boy who, and the last guy who treated her like rubbish and why does nobody love me and blah, 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 blah. You don't want to hear all that crap. Your shirts came out of the tumble dryer or off the line dry. You don't want them soaking up with mis mascara in tears. So don't let them do it. Don't let them treat you like that. And when they talk to you and tell you about you, and use the word but, start listening. And then make a decision about what it is. You should have no place in a girl's friend zone. If you are, get out of there as soon as you can. Walk away. Anyway, my name is Andy R, this is the Brotherhood of Men, and I'll talk to you guys soon because I'm going for a cup of tea, I think I've earned one. Bye now.